This is a video on stem and leaf diagrams. The question states, scores from the last exam are shown. Create a stem and leaf diagram for this data. So here's the scores from the last exam, and we can see there was a 14%, a 45%, all the way up to this one student who got a 99% on the exam. So to create a stem and leaf diagram, we want to first choose what are the stems and what are the leaves. Since we have two digit numbers, I'm going to select my stems to be the tens digit and the leaves to be the ones digit. Once we've done that, let's look to see which stems we have. These numbers range from 14 to 99. So the tens digits will go all the way from 1 to 9. Notice that even though I don't have anything in the 20s and 30s, I still include 2 and 3 under my tens digit. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 for my tens digits. Okay, now let's work on the ones digits. Let's look at this first number, which is 14. It has 1 as its tens digit and 4 as its ones digit. So next to this 1 for 10s, I place a 4. There's nothing in the 20s and there's nothing in the 30s, but we do have the number 45. That has 4 as its 10s digit and 5 as its 1s digit. So next to the 4 in the 10s digit, I place a 5 for the 1s digit. Okay, now let's look at the 50s. We have a 51, 56, and 56. So the ones digits of corresponding to 50s are 1, 6, and 6. So I write down the numbers 1, 6, and 6 next to the 5 in the tens digit. In the 60s, we have a 3, 8, and a 9. So I place a 3, 8, and 9. For the 70s, we have a 2, 2, 4, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, 9. So those are those numbers, 2, 2, 4, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, 9. For the 80s, we have a bunch of numbers, 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 2, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, 9. So I place all of those in the ones digit next to the 8 for the tens digit. And there's my big long list. And then finally, for our 90s, we have 90, which is a 0, a 0, 2, 2, 4, 5, 5, 5, 8, and 9. So I place 0, 0, 2, 2, 4, 5, 5, 5, 8, and 9 next to the 9 in the tens digit. So there's my stem and leaf diagram. Notice a few things. One is that there's a very clear outlier right here at the number 14. It's far away from all the rest of the data. Second, this data is unimodal, and that's because for the 80s, that is the clear mode, the most frequent. And it is skewed to the left, mostly, because from the mode, there's a much longer tail to the for the smaller numbers than there are towards the larger numbers. We call that skewed left. And there's my stem and leaf diagram, and I'm done with the problem.